this is my smartphone and you have one too and we all use them to take photos in daylight to snap images and uh, we also use it in astrophotography uh, we don't use it to snap images but we use it to know the forecast, to know what target is in the sky, to help us pull our line, to control sometimes our gear. So it's great, great tools for astrophotography. But why don't we take photos with it? Well, mostly because uh, the problem is the little lens you can see here. This lens is very small, it collects little light, and it's a wide, wide angle lens. So if you ever try to take a picture of the moon with this phone, uh, what you get is a very small moon in the frame, hopefully clipped to white, so you have no detail, or in the best scenario you can get some Maria to be visible, but nothing more. But that is not the only w way to use your uh, phone for astrophotography. The best way is to use an instrument to look at the moon and then use your phone to photograph what the instrument sees. This is called a focal method. So to illustrate that, let's consider this binocular that I stole from a kid. This is a very cheap binocular, it's a toy binocular. The idea is that already when you look inside it, you the, the, the binocular is providing you an image. So all you need to do is to couple your phone with the eyepiece of the binocular. Now I want to show you what the phone can see. And for this reason, I will put here the video of what the phone is seeing and I will go to take my camera you see and uh, now I'm trying to line up the camera with the ocular and something like so let's try not to peep in any one windows okay that's a view of the roof in front of me you see is there are potential it is quite difficult though because now I have my hand are completely busy. One is holding steady the, tele the binocular, the other the phone aligned to it and I'm running out of finger to snap uh, the photo and to focus. So what you need is at least something like this one. This is a very cheap uh, affordable entry-level adapter for digitans G Digicam Scope as it's called. So it allows you to mount your phone um, directly at the eyepiece of a spotting scope, of a binocular, or your telescope. Now, it's very simple, it's, const it, it's formed by two pieces. Uh, you have the clamp for the phone, which is kind of universal, you can adapt this width. And then you can orient the phone with respect to the A pieces that is clamped here by this clamp. So, if you want to use this, uh, what you can do is, you take your phone, you pop it in, you try to lock it a bit and then I suggest you you pre-align a little bit things like looking behind that the camera is more or less center where in the space where the eyepiece will go something like so and then you take your uh, binocular or the eyepiece of the telescope and you clamp it with in the adapter and everything is okay so if you look uh, and the image of the of what the, co the phone is seeing, you see that we are not far from the good alignment with this pre-alignment method. I can adjust a little bit. Maybe the phone is a bit too high. There you go. And now we have a nice view. A state not so steady because I'm handheld,ing the binocular, but it, it's quite good. You can focus, and you can lock focus by holding and tap. The, and then you can slide the, your finger up and down to change the brightness. Now, of course, you want to get a stable image, particularly for the moon and for astrophotography. Now, this adapter here has a socket for your tripod plate, so you can put everything on a tripod like this one and set like so. And if you look what the phone is seeing, you see now that the image is, is stable and you can do all you need to do. Uh, you can focus and you can, uh, you can lock the focus by holding a tap 
and then you can adjust the brightness and this is how you put down the brightness of the moon so that you can see some uh, lunar details but okay so this is great but why would you do that well there are some reasons you may be interested in having this kind of setup um, First of all, maybe you have kids, they have a toy binocular, they like the moon and they would like to take photos of the moon. So you just invest in a $10 adapter and you mount your well, their binocular on it, your phone and you let them take pictures. Now, this is a very lightweight instrument, so it's okay this configuration. I would not trust any larger binocular on this kind of adapter mounted this way because the weight of the instrument is supported only by this little screw back there so why i'm saying this because maybe it's not your kid that have a binocular but it's yourself so this is my binocular that i usually use for observing the moon while i'm outside doing astrophotography and this is an 80 by 40 uh, it's quite heavier than the toy binocular that we saw before and I would not mount it in that way so if you have that kind of adapter and your binocular does not have any possibility to be directly attached to the, tri to the tripod what you can do is to shop for this thing this is a Manfrotto super clamp it's a general clamp that you can then attach to a photographic tripod so what I, what I do is to clamp my binocular and tie it just enough that will not fall down don't overdo it don't risk to damage the uh, to damage the binocular so now that we have the binocular fixed in place we can mount it on the tripod and this way the weight of the instrument is supported directly by the tripod through the clamp and now you can mount your phone um, I want to show another kind of adapter this is maybe the best kid in town this is the Celestron NX NXYZ spotting scope uh, adapter so basically this works by moving your phone in the three axes left to right up and down far and uh, far and close to the eyepiece in a control way or is all these movements are geared so it's very simple to use it and it's very precise to uh, find the proper alignment so how you do here you have a nice easy clamp so you just clamp it to your eyepiece you lock it down so that it doesn't open and then you take your phone something like so and you quickly insert into the adapter now let's go to see what the phone is seeing you see that I am not in the right place I didn't do any pre-alignment and now I'm manipulating the control so I'm going a bit down and then I may go a bit on the left maybe I'm too much down so I go up a little bit now you see I'm starting to form the image and there is completely center. I can even tweak the distance. You see that it change the size of the uh, of the view. Uh, and now you see that I'm completely out of focus. So that's not a problem. I can tap and try to have the phone focusing. It cannot. So the best way with telescope and with binoculars is to lock your focus and then use the adjustment of the telescope itself in order to bring the image into focus like I'm doing here so you have something like so perfect focus very easy to achieve um, and that's pretty much everything so this is how you can do astrophotography with a smartphone I will put some sample image uh, at the end of the video the last point I want to discuss is that maybe you do have a telescope but uh, not all telescopes are good for astrophotography this is my Skywatcher Heritage 130p this is a tabletop Dobsonian telescope and uh, 
is very nice, is uh, affordable, is portable, it's easy to use, you can see it, it's really, you set it up in a breeze, you just have to extend it and then you are ready to observe. You have the classic base, Altas base, so it's very easy to use, it's convenient for kids, for grab and go telescope, for short observation of the moon. The big problem is that the focuser here has not enough uh, back focus. That means that the focal plane is very close to the end of the focuser and will remain in front of the sensor of your camera. So you will never be able to achieve focus with your camera. The only opportunity is either you use a barrel lens to try to push forward the focus plane. That brings some problem of its own. If you have a collapsible uh, Dobson, Dobson like mine, you can uh, avoid to extend it completely, keep it a bit shorter until you are able to focus with your DSLR camera, but that will reduce the, um, the focal length of the instrument and so the magnification. So the best way is to use a focal, a focal projection and you just mount your, your phone on the eyepiece and you are good to go to take some photos of your uh, with your visual setup. Last thing I want to say is that sometimes for Moon try not to do single image all the time. A 4K video will be often good enough. You will collect a ton amount, a huge amount of frame, a video frame that then you can stack and you, when you do only with the best maybe you end up with a hundred or more images that you can stack together and that will improve the quality of the final image. So this is pretty much all I wanted to say, so thanks for watching and keep going a little bit to see some sample images.